Oh my god. I, uh, uh. What up? Look at the mullet, bro. Uh -huh. Dang. There are a couple chickens out there in the field. Yeah, there's a couple thousand. A couple thousand, yeah. A lot of mallards. We like to see that. Over here in the smack neck of the woods, it's been tough. It's been so warm. It's been like 65, 60. Hunting has been very tough, so kind of excited when I see that. Right now, I see good hide and I see a lot of birds. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another one. Today, I'm out here scouting right now. It's 7.54 in the morning. I'm with Luke from Broken Wing in the back there. Howdy. He's back there doing something. And Dustin from Smack Him. You guys have seen us film a bunch together. Um, their channels will be linked down below. But we're, we're doing some some scouting for some ducks or geese, and we found this tilled up tilled cornfield. Tilled cornfield, and then there's kind of like some flooded like a flood like a little low spot in the field and just flooded and there's probably like 2,000 mallards out there we were driving around and dustin was hunting actually west of here like i don't know like a couple days ago and he's like yeah i saw a bunch of birds flying this way so let's wake up early and go check it out this morning and you know we just were driving around and we used onyx to kind of pinpoint it a little bit more we found the field we looked up who owned it and we're gonna go ask permission and Hopefully, hopefully we can hunt this at some point. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or not, but it's going to get good if we can get on this. Here, here's just a little section, John. If they can see oh, this, yeah. let me see some. I, I don't know if you can see this, but it's pretty juice down yeah, there. Those are all birds. Down that, that's there. just part of the pond, too. Oh yeah, that's like maybe a twenty-fifth uh, of the pond. Yeah, right there. the whole thing's just juiced like that. So it's going to be a good morning or evening. We're going to need a lot of shooters though. So. Oh, yeah. First, we need permission. That's the key, dude. They just keep they just keep tornadoing, and it's absolutely insane. But honestly, having on X has helped a lot because um, we found this person right away, and we're gonna give him a call here dude. and hopefully, or maybe hopefully just get permission. The scouter man himself in your truck helps a lot. Can, True. Can you hand me John's True. vortex oh, here optics? Go. Sorry. Today we're rocking vortex optics. But if you guys want to check out Onyx, I'll leave a link down in the description below. They're a huge supporter of this channel, and it'd be awesome if you went and supported them as well. But I'm gonna put on the long lens and kind of just film a little bit, and then hopefully the the clips after this, you guys see us whacking some ducks. Jesus! Hey, remember that time John from Mindac Outdoors helped us set up? No. Me neither. Morning, boys. <coughs> morning, good Johnny. Morning. How you guys doing? Pretty hey, good. We're doing. It's a little, little chilly out. Everybody looks a little cold. Dom, how you feeling? Feeling good. Oh, good morning, guys. It is the next morning. You guys saw us scouting yesterday. Me, Luke, and Dustin today are back out here. We have Dom with us, the roommate, and one more person might meet us out here. I don't know yet for sure but we are gonna do the hunt today you guys saw us scout on that spot yesterday that little body of water and we decided we're just gonna set up in the field the same field just kind of farther down and do a little dry field hunt stay a little dry we brought heaters two a frames we got a lot of work to do we're not even taking stubble from this field we're gonna go get it from a different field just because the stuff here is so small and uh i mean yeah that's gonna be tough to hide in but we got our guide dustin here so I, i'm not worried at all the kid's a freaking beauty we don't know if the birds are gonna fly early in the morning or late in the day because we didn't look at this part of the field um yesterday morning so honestly if i'm if i'm predicting stuff i think they're gonna fly here to the feed probably around like 10 11 and it's gonna be insane though there's about like 3,000 birds in here all mallards and you know some geese too but this might be one of those days where you just sit there and wait for a while but that's okay patience is key well it's my turn to vlog the setup um yeah this is what we got we got two a-frames put together no, wait, I'm not done you're not done yet oh, okay yep, broken wing. calm down over there two a-frames put together here we're gonna have tons of space it's only four shooters so we could honestly just take naps in there let me just show you guys what we got inside of here this is one side and we have hella snacks i'll walk on the other side just to show you guys my snacks so we come inside the palace that's someone else's side this is my side i brought my heater some propane my blind bag dots pretzels those are going to be a move some a huge thing of sour crawlers from trolley hey propane stay out of my snacks hey guys luke is still 12 years old and he uh eats these lunchables yeah actually i'll, I'll Dude, be honest you got the right ones yeah though. okay but pizza the other are the best yo the other ones though like what's better the pizza ones or the nachos because sometimes the oh nachos are good. true I, I'm, a, I'm always a pizza guy though. yeah that is the best always a pizza but i guy. couldn't have two pizza ones that's too much 
Yeah, I just got these. Hey. Pretty frozen. Yep. We're gonna have to warm those up with one of the three heaters we have. We got a nice setup there, as you guys can see. For a spread, we got 15 dozen dive bombs. Just kind of big arm that way, and then a zigzag, and a hole is right here. Hopefully, they finish right there. And then we have three lucky ducks, one right there, one right there, and one right over there. Luke has like a, a little clicker thing that activates all of them. So, I mean, if there's ducks flying in there, we'll have them on. And if we see some geese, we'll probably shut them off. But that's pretty, pretty cool. It is eight o'clock and this is what we expected. We thought, you know, let's just get out here just in case the birds decide to fly early, but they're probably not gonna fly early, which is correct. I'm thinking around like 10 to 11-ish, they'll start flying. And I think it's gonna get absolutely like sicko mode around noon or maybe even a little bit after that. But we're just gonna hang out in the blind and just chillax and watch some TikToks until the ducks and geese start flying. You guys are gonna wanna stay tuned because this could get absolutely insane. my goodness as you guys can tell this is we're doing a little update for you and uh we're bored it's uh 11 o'clock talk to you guys at eight o'clock no birds have flown yet um it's not gonna happen till like one i'm assuming so we still got like two more hours till birds start happening or flying but luckily we have this kid to entertain us he has a lot of energy that he needs to work out so he's just um well I don't, I don't really know what he's doing right God, now. God, I wish I didn't have COVID. All right, well, I'm going to work on my corn catching skills, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey, you little I'm out of corn. You're safe now. I'm out of corn. You're safe. Hey, I'm out of corn. You little sh <laughs> Yeah? All right, guys, we are in the blind now. It is oh, about no, 1.30, 30 or so? I don't know. It's 2.02. It's 2.02, 02. all right, 2.02. It's been another, what, like three hours since I've talked to you, and we're jacking around out there, and all of a sudden there's a couple groups flying above us, so we decided to get in the A-frame, and uh, yeah, hopefully we're in for a good night here. These birds should be coming at our backs and flying over us, and then hopefully coming into our decoy spread good, unless Broken Wing is pie-facing, which he probably will be. Just stay tuned, could get good. Yep, shoot green. Shoot green, boy! I hit one. I didn't see a single green head, dude. I didn't see a. I didn't even shoot, dude. Dude, that was dope. As I, did, I didn't even see them. I know. I didn't even know they were here. Oh my god, boys! What the hell just happened? I literally just flipped the camera on because there was ducks right behind us. I had no clue. They were all Susies. I think Dom shot one Drake. I didn't see anything else, so I didn't even shoot. So rest in peace. But if they keep doing that, that was absolutely insane. All right, that was. I don't even know how to explain that. That was absolutely insane. I didn't even pull a trigger because I didn't see any drakes. Um, there's only one drake out here and Dom shot him. So I'm gonna see if I can find him here. Oh, here he is. Ooh, look at this boy. Oh God, yeah. Look at that. Oh, no band, but that is a absolutely good looking bird. First bird of the day. If they keep doing it like this, it's gonna be insane. First one down, baby, let's yeah. go. You were the only one that shot. I'm pretty sure you're the only so, one that yeah. shot because that was the only Drake in that whole group. There weren't a lot of them flying. So, nah. Good looking bird, my guy. Starting to get their orange feet. Hell yeah, congrats, man. Oh, I'm so excited, boys. First day hunting in North Dakota for me. Oh, perfect. 
All right, we got some more Milagros above us here. Oh, oh yep. Oh my god, where do these come from? Where do those come from, bro? Oh my god. Holy sh <laughs> There's so many above us, boys. <gasps> yeah, I know. <laughs> Circling around here. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, they're gonna circle a bunch. Huh? <laughs> they're not gonna finish. We're gonna have to shoot them when they come over like that or something. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Oh, you guys wanna shoot them on this? Wait, no, just. just. I'd wait. I'd. God, dude, there's so many ducks around us. Because there's, there's more on the left side, too. Tornado. Yeah, I know. Oh my God, boys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you see the ones above them, too, to the left? When they come over you, it sounds like a freaking jet plane. Hey, this pack, dude, it's nothing. <laughs> I know, this is absolutely nuts right now. There's so many birds. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> if this doesn't get you going, I don't know what does. It is, dude. It is. Yeah. I mean, this is just stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, stay down. This is absolutely insane, dude. Oh my god. This is freaking crazy. all about being patient oh my oh, goodness <laughs> yep it, it, it. yep yep Yo. that was absolutely insane i couldn't really just pick one out though yeah, I don't even know what happened there. That was absolutely insane. I was trying too hard to pick out drakes and I really didn't see very many. Why well, there was some, I just, it was so dark out. Couldn't really tell, but I think we got a couple down. These five on the right, they're dropping pretty fast right here. Yep. That one got double yeah. tapped. That was the only Drake. We just had like 500 Brazilian ducks circle us and stuff like that. And I mean, it was really hard to call the shot. And finally one group came in pretty good. And as you guys saw, they came right there. I was having a really hard time picking out birds, but I shot like one time, I think, and that was it. Didn't shoot any. And then these five came in and we double tapped one of the Drakes there. So not a bad, not a bad start here. Oh my God. <laughs> Get much oh, look at this. Oh, oh boys. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, my God. Get ready. 
We're gonna kill these on the first pass. Let them work around. Yep, yep, work around one more time. Oh my god, that they came down so far. Look at these in front, dude. Oh my god. Dude, there's so many ducks. What are those? Those are um widgeons. Dude, oh my god. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, oh my god. Are you seeing this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even call that shot. No, dude. This, oh. Look at these on the right. I don't think. One drink? Two. There's two right there. Oh my god. Dude, sometimes you just gotta sit back and watch this because you don't get to see this that much. This is absolutely insane. But we're just gonna stay patient and wait for the perfect opportunity here. Oh my god. Yep. Right in Oh my god, I, uh, oh, I'm gonna shot like three drakes right there. Right side, right side, get ready guys. Yep. Ready. If, if we can get ducks to land, just leave it. Yep. Just let them land. Yep. Let them land. Oh my god. Dude. This is a fairy tale. Holy crap. Like this is, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look to our right. Oh. Okay, what if these do it in front? What if they do it right here? No, 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 no. It's gotta be perfect, dude. Yeah. There's ducks in the spread. They, they want to put that. Right. Oh, oh. what are you going to do on the left here? On the left? Hey. <laughs> I almost wish they just came in like packs of five or something. No, dude, I just I'm let's just no, no, just wait until it's the perfect one right in the hole. There we go, we got two of them. All right, watch, watch on the right, just watch on the right. The the big flocks that we had circling us, they just didn't want it perfect, and we were waiting for the perfect shot. We had two drakes in our spread. I just pulled up, shot one, and somebody else shot the other. I so got we got, one. you got one? Yeah, I went to the range and practiced my shooting. But we couldn't get that big group to do it, which is unfortunate. But they're they're still up right now, and they're trying to come back here. But man, this is absolutely insane, boys. Absolutely insane. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this video. Hit that thumbs up button because I am having the time of my life. All right, I'm gonna go pick up these birds really quick. One. Number two. Oh my God, this bird's so nice. Look at that. All right, three green heads down. I shot this one. Freaking beauty, boys. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Shoot, look at that. We're about to have a new spin coming down. Another one. Dustin said there's more ducks. So oh, oh yep, yep, more ducks. All right. Hoo, hoo. Back in the blinds, boys. And now we're, oh, oh. Ducks are, oh my God. Well, hope you're ready for some more tornadoes.
Roll the clips. Oh, the tornado is back, boys. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, it's just constant tornadoes. I'm not mad about though. One more, one more fast, one more fast. Oh my God. Well guys, that last tornado of birds you guys saw, like it, there was no really good time to call the shot and we were just watching thousands and thousands of birds just pretty much blue ball us. We had a couple do it, but we were kind of waiting for that one for sure um, send, but we never got that. So they landed on a pond behind us. I mean, there's still gonna be plenty of birds coming this way, I'm assuming within the next few hours. We still have like what, what an hour and a half to shoot. We're just gonna sit here and hopefully we can scratch out some more birds. I think right now we have, we have all drakes, I have one and we have, uh, the rest of the guys have, I think we have seven total or something like that. So the amount of birds we've seen have just been blowing my mind. I got a wedge. I picked out the one wedge in there. Nice. Yeah. I, I mean, we needed bonus yeah. birds. Yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh, watch. He's right here. Right here. Oh, well, we had a good group come in front. We wanted to call a shot earlier this time. I saw one wedge in there, and I'm like, bet. So I shot the wedge, and then the other boys. I think you guys shot all Drakes, right? Yep. So we're on the Drake grind, baby. <laughs> Let's go. All Drakes. Yeah. Oh my, yeah, I think this is the best cotton top, top baby. It's not fully so cotton topped out, but oh my God. That is the most beautiful bird I've shot this year so far. Hell yeah. Go, Another tornado. God. Just trying to stay low. Yeah, yeah no one can take any shots behind us. Oh. Radio, guys. Shoot. Kill him on top. Got that Drake. That was the only Drake I saw. We, that was the one, like we decided to try something a little bit higher this time. Like they were definitely in range, but we decided to uh, just send it. And I mean, that worked out fine, I thought. Yeah, that worked out fine. Yeah, two more drakes. They're just still, yeah, they're still just coming over. All right, all right, bet, bet, bet. All right, time to go get my bird I just shot. Like the tornadoes are absolutely insane, boys. It's absolutely crazy. And we had one come in range. This guy came in and he died. Oh, look at the colors on that. -hoo -hoo. Oh, look at the curls too. Three curls. Ooh, look at that, boys. I am not mad about that. 
Let's freaking go. That's why I decided to buy my license, come to North Dakota and help with the homies. Let's go. We got three curls. Put this guy to shame. Hey, on the left. Drake. Yep. Drake. I have Drake. I have two Drakes on the left here. You, shoot those. you want me to get them? No, not yet, not yet. Okay, I'll shoot at those. Well, I decided to not do what you told me to because I was too tempting, bro, to shoot the ones in the air. Come on, you didn't even go for those two. I, I, they, they, one of them was like way too far anyways. I only had one, one shot. Them. Rip. The boys wanted me to shoot these two down on the ground, but the one that was closer to me, it had like no colors. And I was like, I didn't tell them that, but I didn't want to shoot it. So I tried shooting the ones that came in and I missed like every shot. So yeah, roast me in the comments. <laughs> Come on. Get him. Oh, oh, that was such a snipe. Watch out, boys. Sheesh. Damn, broken wing chill. Two more. I didn't shoot any of those because I suck. Holy moly. <sighs> How do you feel so far all this hunt, bro? This is greasy. Yeah. This is greasy. Oh, yeah. Two more drakes. Beauties. All hands. Yep. Hens. Yep. Hens. Uh, it looks like one drake in front. Yeah, small one. I got one Drake and another one. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Who shot the Susie? Someone shot a Susie. Ah. Ah. This is a big one, dude. That is a nice man. <sighs> oh, wow. Freaking, it's huge. It's, st it's huge. Look at the head, bro. That last bird that I shot, it's an absolute beefcake. This thing is absolutely huge. The head on that thing is giant, got some curls. Oh my God. In North Dakota, you can't shoot geese after I think like one or something like that. So we can't shoot those. But yeah, that last um, duck that I shot, it's an absolute gorgeous stud. Oh my God. <laughs> One is. Shoot up, tell him. Yeah. Well, that's going to close out the little limit right there. Oh. Yes, sir. That's the little limit right there. Oh, man. Another beautiful Drake Mallard. Look at those feet. He's got red Canada feet. Oh, my. We're going to hurry up and get a picture here. But today's hunt, this explains it right there. Oh, baby. If that doesn't get a man going, I don't know what does, man. Like, Ooh. look at all these birds. Oh, my. All mallards. And then that really nice huijin that I got, if this camera will focus. Nice huijin, super pretty. But the boys and I absolutely clapped him. That was the best hunt I've ever been on in my life. Um, I'm gonna put that out there right now. Definitely the best field hunt I've ever had. We shot our limit of mallards. Um, we could have shot two more bonus ducks, but we didn't 
see anything else. I mean, there's literally nothing else. And if you guys saw, we were being so patient there because there's thousands and thousands of birds just tornadoing over us. And like, we didn't want to shoot because we didn't want to mess it up. We were waiting for that exact moment. And like, sometimes it happens where you don't end up shooting at tornadoes like that because they don't give you an ethical shot or a good enough shot that you feel comfortable taking that bird's life. So we didn't even shoot at a couple of flocks because they didn't give us an opportunity. Um, but it ended up working out, obviously. We got our limit as you can see and this is the field that we found by using onyx so make sure to drop down in the little description box and go check it out guys i'm being honest like this has helped me find so many places and dustin all and luke and dom all these guys it's helped all of us young hunters and old hunters all generation of hunters hunt it's changing the game it's making it easier to find places scout places and contact people and just do a lot more things so definitely go down in the link below and check them out also make sure to go check out the homies my guy dom cooter shooter cooter shooter find me on twitter instagram pornhub TikTok. and we got the smacking boys we got dustin today everybody else is not cool enough to come but make sure to go check out my guys smack them they're gonna have a video today and then Ooh. the famous broken wing outdoors well it's just bw films yeah just short. bw films if you guys get me to a thousand subs i'll do something for you I don't know what yet. Maybe I'll let John come up with something, but. Yeah, a week, we'll give him a week. Ooh. Seven days from when this video goes up, All right. I get to do something to you, or like Ooh. you have to do something for me. That sounded really bad, but yeah, that... you know what I mean. <laughs> right. I get to do something to you, no. or you can do something to me. Oh, well, anyways, yeah, yeah I just go check out the homies. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun. It was an absolute blast. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It was really hard to film because we had so much corn in the way and like filming wise, it was it was really tough. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna have some more videos coming out from North Dakota because I have two weeks now to hunt up here and it is paradise as you guys saw. Just insane. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.